Welcome back to How to Fix a Problem Like Frank. <laughs> Not too sure if I should really get a proper channel name, really, but maybe it's a bit too late now. I should have thought about that when I started YouTube. But I thought, hey, Matt Green, well, a perfect name, innit? Because that's my name, innit? So, none of these super duper channel names. But anyway, I don't know what I'm thinking about that. Got a few days off this week, family time, holidays and sort of things like that. So don't think we've got a full day on this. So we need to try and be productive, focused, like I always am. Don't procrastinate with something else and jump around. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna jump onto the, uh, the ducting, I think, of the radiator. We've got some aluminium and uh, yeah, see if we can make some sort of box up to box the back up. I think that's what I'm gonna do. We could do welding, could do other things, but let's do that. Hang on, clean you. Okay, so I think, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna get a good camera angle to show you this. So I'll just do it in stages, I think. So basically, I think I'll start off with making two sides of a box that basically will hopefully rivnut onto the, the existing floor. Uh, and that will sort of define, uh, and then I'll have a think about what angle Basically, I'm going to have a sheet on the top, obviously. But I'm just working out where to do it, whether it's better to go above the top hose or below the bottom hose and have a hole. And if I go above the top hose, I then can't get to the radiator cap easily. But, and then if you go too high, yeah, I'd, yeah, I need to have a think. Maybe we should start with the top first. Top first, actually, yeah. Let's do the top first. And then that will define the sides. Because the tops, we, we don't care about the sides. We know they're, they're just going to be flat, bang. Yeah. Okay, we've got some square, one mil, uh, square. We've got some one millimeter aluminium. Got a few sheets of it. Uh, so we're just gonna go with a square top for the moment. Nothing tapered at the moment. We can always make it more tapered later. So I'm um, basically measured the size I think I want. I'm gonna go under the hose now and then angled down. So keep the top hose out the box for the moment. Obviously there's always gonna be an issue with some sort of sealant, sealing um, near the tops of the radiator because I can't get perfectly flush to it, I don't think. Um, as best I can, but we'll work that out later. We'll work everything out later, don't we? Thanks for all the comments about the grills. Yes, I need my dad commented about the amount of airflow through those, so we'll have to just see, won't we? Worst case, we'll have to rip them out, or we'll drill bigger holes in them, or just cut them out. So yeah, let's cut this out. I'll put an inch overlap, um, which is gonna be bent and folded, hopefully. That's the idea. And yeah, let's give it a go. Hey, I tell you or not, obviously you know I don't have the right tools for everything. Cutting aluminium, nice guillotine or something like that, lovely, make a perfect job. Normally, I'd risk it either with a jigsaw or with just a normal one mil cutting blade. Um, and it does a job, it's a bit messy. Um, and you get a, quite a lot of burr build up because it's sort of like, I don't know, digs and melts it, I don't know. But anyway, I just tried one of these diamond cutting drills that I've used for um, cutting the daughter's tiles in her kitchen like butter through it and yeah it's left a little bit of an edge but actually it's you know it's just just yeah just file that off and easy file so yeah don't know if anybody else has used those or there's a reason why we shouldn't be using them but yeah <laughs> okay not trimmed it or bent anything yeah i've just got it in there resting it in there I'm trying to work out where am i going to have vents coming in i think i can easily have two, three vents on the bottom if I needed to, but obviously that then OCDs me. So we definitely could have two either side, one going through the charge cooler. Would be nice if this was flat edge, but then we can still put pipes in at an angle somehow. You know, we just make them up, pop them on, do something, or even weld them on. So let's just go with it for now and just see where it takes us. If you don't have a sheet folder, a couple of bits of angle, a couple of bits of box, clamp down the edge, Tap it with the hammer. It's not perfect, but we can go with along with a little dolly anyway. But to be honest, the rivnuts nuts will close everything up anyway. Okay, you're just gonna have to live with the truck ticking over at the moment. Well, that took longer than I thought, but you know, fabrication work, it does when you're trying to half do it properly. So as you can see here, I've put basically this sort of, uh, uh, this is just a protective covering, don't worry about that. Yeah, it all comes off shiny later. So basically a kink back onto, and then I've gone onto the top, the original screw self-tapping mounts on the radiator. So basically it tucks that edge in more and sort of seals it better. Edges I've still got to fold over yet. Um, but yeah, we're getting there, I think. So 
As I said, not too sure where all the inlets are going to go yet, but... Yeah. Oh, that's a, another half hour gone, so basically, um, I haven't pulled it off yet. With nuts, two either side, I've put four along the front here, two on the other side. So now, we can start making up sides and front, which should be fairly simple. I could even... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, could even reuse the rivnuts that we've used for there if I want to go straight across flush for that. It could be an option. I think that'd work, wouldn't it? Yeah, I don't know. I could do with a bit of space before that radiator, really, just for the air to expand. Otherwise, what happens is the tube is going to be basically right up against that radio, which isn't the end of the world. It's going to go straight through it, but it'll only go through, you know, a 100 mil area, if you sort of mean, instead of sort of expanding out a little bit. So, yeah, I made a bit of a boo-boo there, I think. Always move that rad back, maybe. Again, to apologise for the truck noise. Um, while I'm on it, uh, leftovers for tea, because uh, we're out tomorrow, so, uh, yeah, I need to finish up what's in the freezer. So, yeah, there's a side box done. A um, couple of screws in the side, into the rib nuts. Still got the plastic wrapping off. I'll leave it to the end for the unveiling. And, uh, yeah, and I'll just sort of try to... Put up an angle on the back here just to deflect the air in and we can mostly put a rubber strip in there as well i think i could have done a little bit better with that i don't think my radiator is basically 90 degrees to the floor don't know why that would be i'm sure i would have measured it uh, but anyway we can try and make the other side a little bit better okay we've still got the trucks but anyway uh done the other side a little bit more fettling it fits a bit better i was silly so the ocd people please I marked it out on the wrong side, so the shiny surface is on the inside a little bit. So uh, again, OCD people, please, just when you come see this car at a car show, just stay to one side, it'll be fine. So yeah, looks a lot better. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're calling it it for today. Um, sorry, it wasn't a full day. Uh, as I said, got family things to do, so uh, if you don't keep your family happy, you don't get to do this all the time as well. Although, if they're in the mood, you come down here anyway, so. Anyway, so yeah, we got this far where all I'll do is I'll take a few photos, I can go home, think about it over a few beers, watch the old Formula One and uh, just work out what we can do. I think it's going to work. Well, it'll it work in principle. I know, uh, I know a lot of people might think none of it's going to work. It may not work, but who cares, innit? It's just TV, innit? Um, give you a bit of entertainment, innit? Uh, one thing I'll point out, I keep saying it's a rally car. Yes, in my head it's a rally car. In my weird brain, it is a rally car. Are we ever gonna rally it? Not in any proper rally. It's not built to any spec. It's just thrown together, as you can see, just for pure entertainment and during lockdown it was. So if we get to just spank this around a track, a grass track, anything, some sort of stage, something, um, and I can do some good videos of it, I think tick box, project done, we move on to the next one. So yeah, thanks again for all the color choices. Didn't really help me now because I'm even more confused. So uh, we'll just work on that. So I think the idea will be in my head, I'm, I'm thinking the end of July, we'll get it painted. Uh, yeah, that's it. But anyway, sorry, gotta go now. If you want to support me, check out the description. Loads of different ways of supporting me, um, but just hitting the like button's the main one. And uh, yeah, till next time, bye-bye.